Now I'm going to try this so it's going to be a little bit tricky. Now we've already gone from point A to point B. This is the way the ships travel. I'm at point A and we'll say that my hand right here is at point B. I put in the coordinates for point B. Okay, I'm right there. So we move a little bit forward. I move the coordinates a little farther to right here and I'm right there. Okay? I move the coordinates to this cabinet right here and I'm right there. It looks like I'm moving from place to place with no velocity. That is the way that these craft move and we can say that okay I'm going to move to right where my hand is. Okay? And I stop. Now if I turn the camera upwards after going 4,000 miles an hour I have the coordinates up here I go right to that spot. Okay? Then if I want to go farther up to the ceiling I can do the same thing. And if I want to turn around and go down to the floor I can do the same thing. That is how these craft are able to move at such high velocities that we think are velocities, but they're not velocities. Because in the field, the aether field, the electrical field, which these craft travel, according to Tesla, there is no time. It doesn't take time to go across this space right here. It takes no time. They can go from point A where I'm standing to point B where the window is 10 feet away instantaneously. Also, if that, say it was a giant, and that window was 100 miles away, it's instantaneous if they have the coordinates. The same thing between planets. They can do the same thing. If they have the coordinates for that planet, they can do a straight line jump right to that planet. Now you say, well, yeah, but it appears like they're going slower sometimes. Yes, it does. That is because they are not walking point by point by point by point. What they're doing is they're going from parsec A, stop, they get there, parsec B, parsec C, and they could be five feet between each other. They could be 20 feet. They could be 100 feet, 1,000 feet between each other. And what you would see is a, a ship moving slowly. Now, if they wanted to increase that and go to four or 5,000 miles between every jump, then they would look like they're moving at a completely high rate of speed. Okay, next we're going to see an actual star map. The only star map taken from a... Okay, the only star map taken from a ship that we know about. An alien ship. Next video.